Don't hide behind my son's death. That is one man's message to President Trump. The White House facing stinging criticism from the father of a Navy SEAL killed during an anti-terror mission in Yemen. Last month, William Ryan Owens became the first combat death under the Trump presidency, and today his father is calling for an investigation into the raid that killed his son. The White House has said the raid was intended to gather intelligence and was a, quote, success. Now, despite Owens' death, the reported deaths of two dozen civilians including children and the injuries of several other U.S. service members. Uh, here was White House spokesman Sean Spicer just a short time ago. You can't ever say that when there's, most importantly, loss of life um, and people injured, that it's 100 percent successful. But I think when you look at what the stated goal of that mission was, it was an information and intelligence gathering mission. And it achieved that that its, its objectives. So, again, I, I would express our thoughts and our prayers and our condolences um, to all of the people um, in Chief Owens, his family and his friends, uh, his shipmates. Um, but th it's, it's, it's something that as a SEAL and as someone who deployed 12 times, um, he knew um, that this was part of the job and he knew what he was doing. I want to bring in Julie Brown, investigative reporter for the Miami Herald. Uh, Julie, you interviewed this Gold Star father, Bill Owens, and it, it took him a moment to come forward and talk about this. What was it that made him want to go public about how he feels about his son's death? Well, I, I think he wants to get to the truth of what happened, and he's concerned with everything else that's happening in Washington, all the calls for investigations cons in, in other areas, such as the Russia uh, connections, uh, all the um, chaos that has surrounded some of these executive orders. Uh, it's a flurry of one story after another, and he feels he doesn't want his son, what happened to his son, to get swept under the rug. And he's particularly c became concerned when he heard uh, that, that um, the administration had uh, criticized um, Senator John McCain and others, uh, even the media, for trying to find out what happened in this raid and, um, you know, saying that that would dishonor Ryan's memory to, um, to, to call, it, call it into question. And he said just the opposite. He said that's th that don't hide behind my son's death as a reason not to do an investigation. It, it, I wonder what questions he has. Just to, be, just to be clear to our viewers at this point, what we know is that the SEALs went in. They were hoping to get uh, intelligence, their physical intelligence there on the ground, and they came under unexpected uh, an enemy fire. They're always prepared for that, but this ended up being a very bad situation where Ryan Owens was killed. You had dozens of civilians uh, as well, and there was a rescue attempt that ended up in the downing of an aircraft that then had to be uh, blown up. And I'm wondering, now that, that uh, Bill Owens knows some of these facts, what are the things that he is unclear on, that he wants answers on, that he feels have not been fully aired? Well, he's questioning the timeline of what happened. Uh, the president w was only, he was less than a week into his term of office, number one. Uh, number two, where was he? when this happened? Was he connected? Was, how was he connected? Uh, number three, uh, the timing of it as far as this executive order that he signed on the travel ban which affected seven countries including Yemen. And that was signed a day before this mission went off. And you he, Does he feel that that endangered? He feels that that may have endangered the team? He feels that they should look at whether it endangered it. Um, I mean, he, he points out that there were probably uh, allies and people who were friendly in Yemen to, to the United States who, uh, interpreters, there are uh, medical people that are involved with intelligence people. Um, perhaps it's possible that when this uh, travel ban came down and Yemen was part of it, they felt betrayed. I, I, 
I don't think we know the answers to any of this. He doesn't know the answers. And I think the point is he, he believes that we have to look at this in, entirely and not just the nuts and bolts kind of investigation that they routinely do when they have these kinds of um, missions gone um, awry. Julie Brown, thank you so much. You are the only reporter who has spoken to Bill Owens, the father of Ryan Owens, and we know you will continue to follow this story. Thanks for talking to us here in the newsroom.